Hi everyone, my name is John Leitch and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about external tools in Power BI. Now we have seen that we can add visualizations and also we can download custom themes for our Power BI. We can also use external tools to improve or further customize our Power BI and how it works. To get external tools you need to search them on the internet. Today we are going to use Dex Studio as an example. Dex Studio makes working with Dex queries kind of easier and you can test, you can make things inside of it and then just use it inside Power BI to import everything you have done. Here I downloaded Dex Studio, I installed this and here in my Power BI if you see I don't have anything else here so I have to restart Power BI. I'll be back in a second. Ok, I restarted my Power BI and now you can see that I have an external tools ribbon up here and Dex Studio. If I click here, you can see that it's an external tool, it will open in a new window Dex Studio. And here I can work with my expressions. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when Power BI updates, sometimes this ribbon here might disappear. If you go into your folders here, Computer, C, Common Files, Microsoft Shared, Power BI Desktop, and External Tools. You see that after you installed Dex Studio, you get a JSON file here. It's this JSON file that will make the option here appear. If you update your Power BI or if this External Tools ribbon just disappears, check if your folder has the JSON files. Otherwise, just reinstall the external tool so you can have it here. To find more external tools, you can go to Microsoft and search for external tools, or you can just use Google and try to find something that can be useful for you. There are external tools for tabulating files, for Python connections, or other connections that are not here inside Power BI already, so they are very powerful to improve your Power BI experience. You can also create some custom tools, and for that you can check some tutorials on Microsoft's own webpage. Thank you for watching and have a great day! If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching!